microphones. They come in all different shapes and all different sizes, and can cost you anywhere between £10 and £10,000. But what's the difference between a £10 microphone and a £10,000 microphone? Can a microphone bought from a local supermarket for just under a fiver sound just as good as one used by a professional producer in a high-tech studio? Can the average person tell the difference between a track recorded by a cheap microphone and a much more expensive microphone? Well, I have been doing some research to try and find all these things out. Over the last couple of years, I have built up a collection of microphones, some which are expensive and professional mics, and others that cost me less than £5. I have four dynamic microphones that I often use to record guitar with. I have an SM57 that cost me around about £100. A Wharfdale Pro DM 4.0 that cost me around £50. A Yoga DM 330 that cost me £15. And I also have a microphone I purchased from Asda for only £4.99. I plan to use these microphones to record a guitar tap and then play the track to a group of normal everyday people and ask them to choose what mic gives a better quality recording. It will be interesting to see if they pick the most expensive mic as the best and it will also be interesting to see if they can spot any difference between the quality of the recordings. I first did some research on how microphones work to get a better understanding of them before starting my experimental research. MediaCollege.com is a free educational website containing tutorials, reference and other resource material in all areas of electronic media production. This site is offered and maintained by the Wadalength Media a multimedia production company in New Zealand and this is where I got the following information. Microphones are a type of transducer, a device which converts energy of one form to another. Microphones convert acoustical energy such as sound waves into electrical energy the audio signal. Different types of microphones have different ways of converting energy but they all share one thing in common, the diaphragm. This is a thin piece of material such as paper, plastic or aluminium which vibrates when it is struck by sound waves. In a typical handheld microphone, the diaphragm is located in the head of the microphone. When the diaphragm vibrates, it causes other components in the microphone to vibrate. These vibrations are converted into an electrical current which becomes in the audio signal. At the other end of the audio channel, the loudspeaker is also a transducer. It converts electrical energy back into acoustic energy. The legendary SM57 is exceptional for musical instrument pickups and vocals. With its bright, clean sound and its conjured frequency response, the SM57 is ideal for live sound, reinforcement and recording. The SM57 has an extremely effective cardioid pickup pattern that isolates the main sound source while minimising background noise. In the studio it is excellent for recording drums, guitar and woodwinds. The SM57 is the most expensive dynamic microphone I have and on paper should do a lot better than the rest of the microphones. The DM 4.0 is a dynamic coil microphone designed to handle a wide variety of vocal and instrument applications for both live sound and recording. Characteristics of a DM 4.0 such as a tight supercardioid pickup pattern with frequency response of 45Hz to 18kHz, slight bass proximity and mid-range presence result in a warm and natural sounding response for every application. 
the DM 4.0 is engineered to handle very high source levels and provides over 36 dB of off-axis feedback rejection. Low impedance and balance output allow for interference-free performance. The DM 4.0 is built solidly with a cast alloy body, steel mesh grill ball and an internal pop screen. I purchased this microphone for 15 quid at Maplin's. I have searched high or low for information on this mic and have not been able to find any. But I can tell you a little about yoga microphones as a whole. Yoga microphones are suitable for public address, performance and stage work or studio applications. Their quality in acoustics is exceptional and their build quality excellent Well, all I can say about this microphone is it was purchased at Asda for four ninety nine, and it was a smart price brand microphone. I tried to make this experiment as fair as I possibly could. I use the same guitar amp and the same cab. I place the microphone over the same cone on the cab. I use the same microphone stand and I use the same XLR wire. I use the same computer and M box to record the track. I was sure not to change the settings of the amp or the guitar or anything else. I use the same software and play the same riff. The only thing that changed was the microphone. I put four tracks on my iPod and named them track 1, 2, 3 and 4. I, I found 20 people to listen to them using the same headphones and I asked them to list the tracks in order of quality on the score sheet I had created. I also asked them to rate the quality of the tracks so that I may get some idea of how much better the people I asked think the tracks were from each of them. <laughs> The results are quite strange I think, but what we can gather from them is the two cheaper microphones don't sound anywhere near as good as the two more expensive ones. But on the other hand, the D4.0 almost had the same quality rating as the SM57, and the DM4.0 won the SM57 in the ramp score. Therefore it would be realistic to say that the DM4.0 is at least equal overall to the SM57 when recording the guitar types. In other words, a mic half a price can sound just as good. Either that or people can't tell the difference between a good quality recording and a 